In this video clip, I will show you how to perform meta-analysis on a data extracted from publication using Review Manager, and the data had an estimate of the effect size, which is the hazard ratio. Launch the RevMan, and in the window here, click on uh, New, a new window will appear and then click on next and then select intervention review then click on next and uh, then select the full review then click on finish and new output is generated click on the studies and references and then references to studies and then right click and then click on add study and in the add study window will appear here is saying that which section would the study be created in include studies then click on next uh, then insert the first study we'll call it study uh, number one but it is 2013 and then click on next then click on next then click on next and then next and then select add uh, uh, another study in the same section click on continue then insert the entire study 2 which is 2014 click on next then next then next then next and then add another uh, study to the same uh, section as I'm going to add four studies then study number three is 2016 and then click on next 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 take on another study in the same section continue then study four which is 2018 click on next then next then next then next and now do nothing by clicking on select nothing and click on finish as shown here for the study um, section there are four study inserted into RevMan study one two and three and four uh, shorten this then click on the data analysis and then right click and add comparison in the comparison let's type here give it a name for meta analysis uh, for um, hazard ratio meta-analysis of hazard ratio for let's say uh, lung cancer LC click on next then what do you want to do after the wizard is closed select add an outcome under a new comparison then continue then select the generic inverse variance then next and then give it a name let's say meta-analysis for HR then click on next and then select the outcome here we could select the model whether it's fixed effect or random effect we'll stick with the fixed effect and for the hazard ratio uh, option click on names of the effect measure and select the hazard ratio and nothing else for the rest click on next here in this section keep uh, the setting as it is 95 percent confidence interval and nothing to take uh, click on next and then uh, sort by the study id and then next uh, uh, what to do uh, once you've done here click on finish outline is generated here for uh, to enter the studies so to enter the study click on the uh, icon here select the four studies uh, that we had entered and then click on finished and they will be shown here from study 13 to 18 as shown here the uh, hazard uh, ratio can be added with the standard error to add the values here select the first study and then click on the calculator let's add here the lower and the upper 95 percent confidence interval 0 0.35 and 0 0.95 
hit enter once the lower and the upper boundaries for the 95 percent confidence interval are inserted then uh, uh, hazard ratio is generated with a standard error click on update data table uh, as shown here the value inserted for the se and the log uh, hr to do the same for the second one select the second study click on the calculator enter the lower and the upper limits for the 95 ci 0.43 and the upper is 0.69 hit enter and then click update data table select the third uh, study and insert the 95% CI 0.6 for the first and 0.87 for the second and then hit enter click on update and for the final study click on the calculator insert the uh, values for the upper and lower limits 0.65 and then hit enter and then click on update data table as shown here for each study the log hr is calculated and the se is given here a standard error with weight and hazard ratio as shown here with 95 percent confidence interval as shown also in the area here the uh, method used is the fixed effects method could change that into random but we'll stick with the fixed effects method uh, to generate a forest plot diagram click on this icon as shown here the forest plot is generated with a section here for the study name and the log hr the se the weight and the hazard ratio using fixed effects method with 95 percent ci and the forest plot with uh, one here a vertical line for line of no effect and the um, small and several different sizes of the square here red square represent the value for the um, uh, hazard ratio and the diamond uh, shape or shaped symbol is the overall hazard ratio which is 0.62 with a 95 percent confidence interval uh, the scale is given here and on the third section as uh, shown here the homogeneity test is calculated with i square and a p-value and the overall effect size estimate effect size which is the hazard ratio is significant as given here by the p-value so this is the way to uh, calculate and determine the overall hazard ratio for multiple studies uh, using the RevMan software. If you find this video useful, do subscribe to the channel, leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of uh, several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of uh, different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. If you are a student, or a researcher and you have a data whether it is um, um, quantitative 
all qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages. My contact details are given here. So don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course.